Lennon's the type of guy that radiates perfection. Not only is he a six-foot dreamboat with the brains to back it up, but also the way that he interacts with the people and the world around him is truly astounding. His love and commitment to the people that are important to him is evident by each and every person that's in this room tonight, but especially to his beautiful bride, Amy. At the risk of sounding cliche, the way he looks at her is something out of a fairy tale. And I'm just going to tell this bit of a story about the first time that I, one of the first times that I met Amy and Lyndon. So we were at a ph pharmacy get-together, and at this point it was early on in our pharmacy career, so everything was still a little bit fresh, a little bit new. I had only met Amy maybe once or twice uh, before that time. So as the night progressed, you know, we had a couple of drinks, um, Lyndon and I had got separated. So I crossed into the, to the next room, just sort of looking out for him, looking to see where, where he had gone. Um, and to my surprise, I saw Amy across the, the room. Um, but she's holding hands with not Lyndon. <laughs> so I sort of puff out my chest a little bit and wheel around back into the living room to see if I can find him. And sure enough, I spot Amy holding hands with Lyndon. So I'm like, okay, you know, it's been a long day. And again, I mentioned, I've only met Amy once or twice at this point. Um, so I guess it's my embarrassment, that's the time that I found out Amy has a twin. <laughs> Amy, I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to meet you. I honestly wouldn't be standing up here today if it weren't for you. And when I say that, I'm being 100% serious. None of the guys up here, Lyndon included, would even have a pharmacy degree if it wasn't for Amy providing us with notes over the past four years. The way that Amy and Lyndon looked at each other reminded me that there's a point in everyone's life where they get the opportunity to meet their soul. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of a quote that I saw some time ago, which reads, an invisible red thread connects those who are destined to meet, regardless of time, place, or circumstance. The thread may stretch and tangle, but it will never break. I feel like that accurately describes the relationship that Lyndon and Amy have, as, as well as the friendship that we've developed over the past four years. <laughs> what we have witnessed here today is the joining of two people who not only put a thousand percent into each and every little thing that they do, but they are two people who treat every single person that they meet with love, respect, and kindness and who are filled up by what they are doing in society when others may feel drained. To, to Amy and Lyndon, I wish you a lifetime of success, prosperity, and love. Thank you for showing us all a prime example of what true love really is. I don't think you realize how much I've learned from you two in these past four years about love and communication. And thank you very much for allowing us all to be part of meeting the Brian Cheers. You're gonna to wanna to keep your eyes closed. Those are my favorite. Closed? Closed? Okay. 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 Love each other from the heart every single day. Amy and Jess, they're blue nosers. They were born in Halifax. Wow. It looks good, it does. right? It looks really good. 
The doctors in Little Summerside detected a heart anomaly with our Amy here. And uh, we were shipped off to what was then the Grace Maternity Hospital, which is now part of the IWK. Yay, you look good too. But all is well, there was no issues, there was no medications, there was no surgery. But my point in this is, is watching as you both have developed in your relationship, Amy and Lyndon, we see it, Lisa and I will always claim ownership on that little heart. So as we watched you both grow together over these 10 years, and it's been a long 10 years and a lot of chicken burgers. <laughs> We're positive that you will continually share this rule, and that is love each other from the heart each and every day. Congratulations. distraught. She was bawling. She rushed to school and asked to write her math exam early so she could get to Linden at the hospital. <laughs> Ms. Dakos granted this request, and when I walked by her classroom before the first bell that morning, there was Amy, frantically punching numbers in her calculator, still crying. wish you a long and happy life together. Here's to Mr. and Mrs. Bryanton. Hey, Amy dear, welcome to our family. Marriage is certainly about two people supporting each other through the joyful and the difficult times in life. And it brings us both such joy to know that Linda and Amy will now be that support for each other. 
Didn't she ever have to miss the lunch break?